Hi everyone! Welcome back to the CaseGuard Studio training course. In the previous video, we learned how to manually redact audio in CaseGuard Studio in four different ways. In today's video, I will cover automatic audio redaction. I will begin by creating a project and calling it Automatic Audio Redaction. I'm going to add the same audio file as I did for the manual audio redaction video as it's a 911 call and has a lot of personal identifying information, or PII. I want to mention that everything I showed in the last video, and everything I'm going to show in this video, can be done on any video file that contains audio. Before I begin, I need to pin a couple of panels to my workspace. I'm going to pin the Transcription and Analytics panel, and select the Transcription tab. We're all set to begin our automatic audio redactions. Click on the blue Auto Transcribe button from the Transcription panel. This opens up the Transcription pop-up window. Here, we can select the spoken language. CaseGuard can automatically transcribe audio in up to 31 languages. And it also includes different dialects. For example, we have English in Australia, English in the UK, English in Ireland, and English in the United States. We also have different dialects for Spanish spoken in Spain and Spanish spoken in the United States. I'm going to select English spoken in the United States. CaseGuard can also identify different speakers. Here, you would select whether or not you want CaseGuard to identify your speakers. I'm going to select yes. Here, you select how many speakers are in your audio file. I know that there are two speakers in my audio file but CaseGuard can identify up to 10 different speakers. I'm going to select two. Click Transcribe. The transcription has loaded. I'm going to resize the transcription panel and make it a little bit larger, increase the size of the text, and increase the size of my audio wave bar so that it's easier to work with. Now, we're all set to begin redaction from our transcription. You can highlight any word or phrase, right-click, and apply your redaction. You can also highlight a word or a phrase, right-click, and select Go To Position. This will locate the word or phrase in the audio file and move the cursor appropriately. This is very useful if you want to make sure that this is the word or phrase that was said prior to applying your redaction. Let's listen. 1941 Pearl Harbor Street. That's exactly what they said. So I can highlight, right click, and select mute or bleep. And that's reflected in our audio wave bar. Another way to redact automatically is to search for a word in the search bar. I'm going to search for the word wallet and click enter. To the right of the search bar, we see a number. This says six. This means that the word wallet was found six different times in the transcription. And if we scroll, we can see that the word wallet is highlighted each time that it's mentioned. If I just want to redact wallet once, I can right click and apply my redaction. If I want to redact wallet each time that it's mentioned, I can click mute all search results from the top of the transcription panel. You can also edit the transcription and give your speakers a name. I'm going to highlight speaker zero, right click and select edit. I will replace speaker zero with Jane Doe and select Replace All. Now, anytime Speaker Zero is mentioned, it is replaced with Jane Doe. And if I wanted, I can search Jane Doe at the top, click Enter, and change the voice each time Jane Doe speaks. This is really useful if you don't want to redact what Jane Doe said, but you want to preserve her anonymity. I also want to mention that you can highlight and redact entire sentences. Now, I'm going to delete all of these redactions and show you the real star of the show. Let's click on the Analytics panel. Here, we can see all of the PII that the system identified and categorized into groups. There are many different groups, including names, phone numbers, addresses, emails, social security numbers, credit card information, bank information, and even profanity. If I just want to look at the names, I can click on Names from the drop-down menu. And now we see all of the names that were mentioned in the transcription. If I hover over any word, I can select Go To Position 
and listen to ensure that this is the word or phrase that was said. T-O-R-R-E-S. That's exactly what was said. If I want to apply my redaction, I can click Mute. If I only wanted to redact certain names, like Kent, I can search Kent in the analytics search bar. Now, if I want to redact each time Kent was mentioned, I can select Mute All Search Results, and we can see that reflected in our audio wave bar. I can do the same thing for phone numbers. Select phone numbers and click Bleep All Search Results at the top of the analytics panel. We can do the same thing for addresses. We have 1941 Pearl Harbor Street, and I want to mute it. Same thing the second time it's mentioned. Now, you may also notice this block feature. If I click block, this is the pop-up window that comes up. I can choose to block this address just in this file or to block it in all future files. This is useful if, for example, 1931 South Unconstitutional Way is an address that you never need to redact. For example, if it's the address of a police department, we never want to have that redacted. So I would select Block in all future files. If I just didn't want to redact it in this, I can select Block in this file. And now that is removed from our Analytics tab and will not reappear. You can always check which analytics you have blocked by clicking the Edit Blocked Analytics from the bottom of the Analytics panel. And if I wanted to unblock it in this file, I could click Unblock here and here. Click Close. Now, let's go back to the transcription. If you need a copy of your transcription, click on the Print Reports button at the top of your workspace. This will open up the Print Reports pop-up window. Here, you have your full, unredacted transcription. You can print or export and make further edits if needed. Now, let's export our file by clicking on the blue Export button at the top of the workspace. It's done and in our Project Files panel. You can see that this is now a redacted transcription, and instead of the PII, we have mute or bleep in brackets. Let's listen to the audio file. Nine one one. What is your emergency? I don't have an emergency. I just want to report a theft. Okay. May I have your name, sir? Uh, yeah, my name is... And that's where we muted his name. And where did this theft occur? Uh, at my house. Okay, and what is your address, sir? I live in... That's where we muted his address. And that's where we muted it again. Correct. Okay, what's the best way to contact you? Uh, my cell phone. Uh, the number is... And that's where we bleeped his phone number. To view your redacted transcription, click on the Print Reports button again. Here, you will find your redacted transcription, and instead of the PII, you will find mute or bleep. You can print it or export it for further editing if needed. Now, let me add a video file to this project and show you how you would run transcription on a video file. When transcribing from a video, all you need to do is click on the Show Hide Audio Wave button to open up your audio wave. You also want to make sure your transcription and analytics panel are pinned. Click Auto Transcribe, select your spoken language, if you'd like your speakers identified, and the number of speakers, and click Transcribe. When your transcription pops, you can do the same thing I showed in the audio file. Highlight and redact anything that you need to remove from the audio file. You can also go to the Analytics tab and sort by group names. If you want to redact everything that the Analytics tab shows, all you need to do is select Mute All or Bleep All search results from the top of the Analytics panel. Once your redactions are in place, click Export. That's all I have for you in this video. I hope you found it helpful. In the next video, I will cover some of CaseGuard's video editing features. See you there!